You go in the tunnel, you are so focused, you, are, you watch on the other side and you, you see the Milan team, the experience they have, the players they are, and it was impressive. And you see just a few, few meters ahead, the trophy is there. with Istanbul with, with the 2005 final. It became so special, it's so iconic final for all the football supporters. My wife was there, my father with my brother, he was there, my mother, he stayed in San Sebastian and he was like uh, screaming on, on the sofa. Istanbul is not a normal city, it's so different and it's not like something that you you are going to see the same streets with the same shops in, a, in another European city. How they live is, is different. So for sure, I want that my kids to see that part as well, that culture. We, we still feel like a special connection with, with the city. We wanted that trophy so much. And it meant so much after so many years. For us, it was the first Champions League final. We were like quite tense. Uh, we knew the responsibility that we had. They were playing so comfortable, so easily. So we were making things very easy for them. Okay, we had the ball, but we had the possession, but we, we were not creating chances. We were not dangerous. And I remember at the halftime, like, I was like so disappointed so, with myself thinking uh, I am so responsible to not be able to be competitive on such a big night. And that disappointment made something click. There were different reactions. Some of the players, they were really down, really like, wow, it's gone, we have no chance. I was very like disappointed with myself, but still wanting to believe that we could do better. And Rafa, instead of giving us a very like emotional speech, oh, you have to change, this, this is not, they don't deserve this, you have to. He gave us a very like tactical speech, tactical talk about what was going wrong and about what we had to change. And so, let's see what happens. As soon as we came out from the changing room, we were coming out, we were in the tunnel waiting and we could hear the fans singing that they were shouting instead of being angry with us or they were disappointed. They wanted to believe and they, that they had hope. To feel that and to hear that gave us that belief that uh, we need to give something extra. We need to give more. Stevie's first goal gave us hope. Wow. That confirmed that we were doing things better. And when Vladi scored the, the second goal, we said, yes, we are going. I had the feeling that the third one was coming. It was my first professional penalty. I had never taken a, a penalty as a professional player. I had very clear what to take. And the penalty was not bad, but ma Dida made a great sell. But I, I had the quickest reaction ever of my career. And with that rebound, it was like it was a, I was reborn. We knew that we were back on the game and we had one more life and we had to keep alive. After we scored the third goal, we were in good shape, but Milan, they had that, the Lion when it's hurt, when they come back and they are even more dangerous. We had to defend our life that we had back and from there did the final whistle of the extra time it was like, uh, it was long, it was long, and they, they could have a score. In the penalties, we had the belief that we have arrived here, so it meant probably his fate, and it means that we, we have a good chance. It's very tense, it's a very dramatic moment when, when you see that <laughs> it's like one of your teammates goes on his own to board against his, uh, his chosen soldier with your soldier. It's an explosion of happiness, euphoria. I started running, running with 
not even thinking what to do. The, the best thing of that, apart from the happiness of what you have achieved, is to know how happy you have made people, how happy you have made Liverpool fans. And that's what sticks on our memory and what makes us proud. I think that's thinking after so many years, that's the best thing. When you play a big final, when you are part of it, you miss the most enjoyable things. It's when you go as a fan and you go with your friends and family and you enjoy the whole day, singing, uh, sharing the, those moments. Uh, it's why we play for. You can play for trophies, for winning, for money, but you play for the fans. Without the fans, football is nothing.